this is Lockthon Plays, and the iteration Ares Visage just unlocked today. So I wanted to do a walkthrough and show everyone what it looks like. So you can decide for yourself if you want to spend your hard-earned nanites on it. A quick reminder, these visages only work if you have if you are set as the traveler species. So they don't work as an anomaly or a geck or a Corvax. Um, so let's see, it should probably be helmet 14. That's not it. Not a traveler? Maybe I'm not a, a traveler. Nope, I'm an anomaly. That would explain why I can't find it. Let's switch over to heads again and see. It's only 11 for me because I don't have the Mercury and Gemini visages on this save. A quick reminder, primary colors of course are the main head colors. Accent colors tend to be the eye colors, although it doesn't seem to be on this one. This time it's changing the head discs. Alright. Huh. We don't have different head shapes like, like, like we do on the other. Let's see what kind of markings we have. Okay, that changed the head tentacles. To a different color and gave us an accent color. Let's set our primary color orange. Let's just set everything orange real quick and see what happens. Accent color. Now is changing our head plates again. Secondary color in this context is changing our eye color. And the primary color, of course, being <laughs> what, the main brain? I'm not quite sure what to call the center core of the head. Okay, so the markings number one splits the head tentacles, the brain tentacles, away from the core brain. Markings two. Hmm. Let's see. Let's make this a little bit more. No. A little bit more dramatic. Change out the colors. So in this case, the secondary colors is both the eyes and the chin break. <laughs> you know, the wording we need for these sorts of things is really kind of wild. So markings zero. The primary color changes the whole face pretty much with the chin being a slightly lighter color and the set and the accent color changes the head discs. Markings one sets the tentacles to have an accent color. And then the accent color again changes the head discs. And markings two makes the brain chin even more distinctive. I kind of like that. Let's see if the eyes are the same as they are. Yes. Eye zero is the black orb. Eye one is a fairly human look with a slightly l darker color on top of the iris. Let's change this out to a slightly more distinctive color. Eye two is a horizontal uh, pupil slit. Eye three is a slightly android looking eye with a horizontal uh, change in the eye in the iris color. I four is a vertical pupil slit and I five is probably the bug eye. Yeah. I'm a little bit disappointed that this head shape that this head type doesn't have the various shapes that the Gemini and Mercury vi visages have. <laughs> But it is still probably the most distinctive head in the game. And I like that you can change the color of the head discs. I decided to run over here to actually look at Ares to see what his head looks like. It looks like his head is pretty dis has the pretty distinctive marking of a very different colored chin than nose. 
and his head discs are orange, his nose is red, and his chin is light yellow slash Caucasian text, Caucasian flesh colored, and green eyes. Yeah, it's still a pretty disconcerting head though. Anyway, I'm not quite sure if there's anything else I can add to this. Primary color on markings 2 is the head tentacles and the top of the brain. Secondary color is eyes and chin. Accent color is head discs. Oh, markings 1. There's now a slight difference between the nose and the eye stalks. Marking zero. Everything is pretty much the same. So this one is a lot more subtle than the other ones have been. But, since there isn't much more to show, that is your walkthrough. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you find this of use. Have a good, have a great day. Close the